modern sciences have provided us with knowledge that allows us to analyze many mysterious and incredible facts. Reflections on some things make us tremble before the scale and possibilities of the universe. And although it's sometimes difficult for us to perceive such information, we still think about our origin, about our connection with the cosmos, or about extraterrestrial intelligence. Thanks to modern research, our conclusions can be very exciting because everyone is interested in what is there and how it got there. The universe, so huge, cold, and mysterious. But one of the most startling conclusions that have been made in the universe is that this universe is within us. Too poetic, isn't it? But the fact is that both in boundless space and inside of us are the same common chemical elements, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. All these elements were formed in the depths of stars, which exploded, spreading material for the birth of the next generation of stars, planets, or for the birth of life. Realizing the fact of oneness with something incomprehensible is inspiring, isn't it? We don't consist of some rare isotopes found only on our planet. And this leads us to another interesting thought. Maybe we're not alone in the universe after all. And if aliens exist, how advanced could they be? Renowned astrophysicist and popularizer of science Neil deGrasse Tyson describes an interesting and at the same time disturbing thought. He gives an example of the similarity of human and chimpanzee DNA, which is almost 99%. Despite this similarity, humans have a clear superiority in intelligence. It turns out that everything that we are, and that distinguishes us from chimpanzees, appears in about 1% difference in DNA. It's just incredible. To us, this difference in intelligence seems huge because chimpanzees, for example, are not able to design the Hubble Space Telescope. But maybe our intellect is developed only in our imagination. After all, we believe that designing telescopes, flying into space, and launching rockets are incredible achievements. But maybe all of our knowledge of the universe, in the form in which we imagine it, is practically no different from the same monkey that connected two finger movements from sign language. Maybe the difference isn't that big. We say to ourselves that this is a lot, but maybe it's almost nothing. Imagine another form of life that would be as smart as we are smart in comparison with chimpanzees. We talk about a 5% difference. Just think about it. Who are we to them, then? Just drooling and simple-headed idiots compared to them. They would take Stephen Hawking, roll him out to their main researchers, and say, this one seems to be the most intelligent of them. He knows how to do astrophysics in his mind. Oh, it's so lovely. Our little Johnny can do that too. How cute. Johnny, by the way, we just put him on a chain yesterday. It's hard to even imagine how smart they could be. Perhaps their children design satellites and understand all the things that even the greatest minds of mankind cannot understand. All knowledge that seems incomprehensible to us, quantum mechanics, string theory, dark matter, the origin of life, could be understood by them on an intuitive level. All symphonies will be written and simply hung on their refrigerator, like children's drawings on our refrigerators. But it is even more difficult to imagine a difference, for example, of 5%. All this makes one wonder. Would such intelligent species be interested in contact with humanity? After all, we're not in a hurry to enter into a dialogue with insects. When was the last time you tried to talk to a worm or a bird, for example? Well, that is, you may have said something, but I don't think you expected an answer, did you? We're not in dialogue with any of the other creatures with which we share DNA. So, our alien friends could do the same. 
Perhaps we're still quite stupid and simply not able to understand this universe. But also, those forms of life that have not yet caught up with us in development or do not have intelligence at all may also exist on nearby worlds. That sounds like a very good reason no one is trying to contact us. Be that as it may, we don't get tired of waiting and sending our signals into space in the hope of an answer. Well, you watched the video to the end, you probably liked it, which means that it's time to click under the video and subscribe to the channel. After all, you also have questions that have not yet been answered and do not give you peace of mind. Right now, we are rapidly rushing into the future, and who knows, maybe in 10 years the surface of the planets and their satellites will become as commonplace as reality shows on Earth. Oh, if only the number of Hubble's likes and subscribers could bring this long-awaited moment closer. But we are able to influence something else, the earliest possible release of a new educational video. Share videos with your friends, and don't skimp on moral encouragement, the universe will reward you. And if 15,000 likes are collected under this video, then the speed of the release of the new video will surpass the speed of light. Don't believe me? Check it out.